few Evil Dead fans in this video, I'm gonna cover the Evil Dead one sculpt, it is done. And before we take close up looks at it, I do wanna explain how I'm going to make the covers and make the mold. Now, if some of you have ever used Milliput, you know it's a very stiff product. It's not like alginate or clay that can break away. So I can't just make a stone mold with this because it would be a pain in the ass and would stick together. So I did talk to Chris Pollock and uh, David Bartrug, a few other people, how to solve this problem. So what I had to do is I had to buy two gallons of silicone rubber. So I need to make a silicone rubber mold of this which this is about 22 and a half inches wide and 13 inches tall. And it will be the size of a DVD case. So let's see, oh, fucking cock hammer. Why is that still out? I would show you clips of that movie, but uh, just to let you know, if you decide to send me a really crappy Christmas gift, guess what you're getting? This. <laughs> so it will be the size of a DVD. So you can see the covers the face right there. So it's gonna be like that. And then you got the binding and then like, kind of like that. There's a lot of overlap because um, when Tom did his re-sculpt, there was a lot of overlap. So a lot of it can be cut away. I want a lot of access on it. But going back to the molding process. So I got to make a silicone rubber mold of it. After that, I have to use a product called alginate, which is like a clay, but it's kind of like a shit clay. I have to do that. <clears throat> as soon as I'm done with that, I have to sit it down, take the rubber mold off, and then do my plaster mold. So that plaster mold will be what the cover's made of. And you can't use silicone with uh, latex. You really can, but it, it's a mess and it's, it sucks. So it's not worth even trying. It'd be a lot of uh, effort and money gone to waste if it gets all screwed up. So at the end of it, I'll have, still have this. I'll have a rubber mold, a uh, rubber silicone mold. And then I'll have the master, the master, the big stone one. So if the stone one ever breaks, I can always go back to that silicone one. If that one ever breaks, I can always start the process over again because I still have the master. So this can be around for literally ever, unless this gets broken. If this ever gets broken, then, you know. Uh, one thing people were worried about was undercuts. And I'm gonna show you a close up right now that I filled in a lot of undercuts, but I didn't lose any of the look. So let's take a close look at that. Here it is. You can see there really isn't a ton of undercuts. Like when I do the shadowing with the lighting, it looks like there's a ton of them, but there really isn't. Uh, really the only deepest one I have now is right here. And it's really not that bad. The eyes and stuff are all level outwards. So that's not an issue. I had a little bit of what, one right here, I filled that in. Filled in somewhat of the nose as well, so it would work. When it comes to this lip, there's plenty of room for it to pop out. Uh, with the alginate, I'll probably just have to dig it out of the, uh, the final plaster mold. I did fill in underneath here. You can see it is filled in, but it still gives that appearance that it's very, very deep. And it's somewhat angled into there, so that's, that's gonna work. Also filled in the backside of that lip and then certain little spots right here. Nothing crazy, but I got rid of the major undercuts with it and it's ready to roll. I should be getting in all that silicone, I think Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, should be getting that all in. So one thing I did do is put BGC for brush ruby chainsaws and you will see that only on the inner flap. And then there is another one up here. So the way this folds over is you do this side first on the inside and then you fold over the top and the bottom and you have to trim it down, of course, because there's just not enough room. But I wanna make sure there's enough extra there so you had plenty of coverage. Another thing I did, you can see right here, is this spot right here. So this is the very top of where it folds over. So when this folds over, if you remember the hero picture or the hero part of the video, when you see Ash first pick it up, you'll see that kind of flap hanging off the top of the book. So that will be on there. So I put it right where it folds over so it will stick straight up. And if somebody doesn't like it, you know, just cut it off because it's gonna be latex. So it's not a big deal. 
As you can see, there's no ear on here at all. And there's not a lot of undercuts. A lot of detail, not a ton of undercuts. So that's what you're gonna be getting. And when I get that latex done, a latex mold, I can get the alginate and the plaster pretty quick. So I'm hoping by the end of the weekend, the final mold will be done and then start the latex covers because latex isn't super expensive. So I might just order that very soon as well. And I talked to David Bartrug, what he uses for his covers. I'm gonna look into that, pricing of that. So there is a possibility in about a week or two, there will be covers done for this Evil Dead 1 cover for the book. So availability, it, it can be sooner than later. It just depends on when Al wants to start those pages. I know he's really getting geared up on the Evil Dead 2s and the rest of his Ash vs. Evil Deads. I don't know. It's kind of up to him on that. And we have talked about the first finished book that will be available. There will be finished books. I'll have mine done. Al will have his done. Ryan Lewis will have his done as well. All three of ours will have the first books, but the book after that will be available. Uh, and what I mean by the one is we're gonna make it available to where somebody doesn't have to wait in a line, you know, to get it when, you know, there's like 10 or 20 book orders, you have to wait your turn. So there is a possibility someone will get that book before everyone else. So you don't have to wait. And I will explain that later once the book is done, but it's not much longer for that, honestly. It, it, the cover's gonna be done. It just takes getting the pages done and the binding and then there you go. So there's an update for you guys. Here's another little look before I let you go. I really like this thing. I do. It turned out nice. And I really was never a big fan of the Evil Dead 1 book. But now I am. And I did send a photo to Tom Sullivan. He liked it, which is awesome. So very, very happy with it. Yeah, because this over here, this other product, it is milliput as well. It's just a super fine milliput. So none of it will break away. But now I'd spend more money to make a silicone mold and then do the normal process. But that's fine. Just means I'll have backups whenever the plaster one decides to go take a shit on me. Then I'll have the silicone one. If that ever takes a shit on me, then I still have this and I'll just start the whole process again. So until next time, guys. Stay groovy.